Welcome to this video series about improvising by Sietse de Vries. You can support this video series by donating the amount of your choice to Sietse de Vries' Patreon account, which can be found by searching Sietse de Vries Patreon or by finding the link in the description below the video. Enjoy the video. So let's talk a little bit about the art of the organ transcription. Um, you would say that's something else than improvising, but that's, it's actually quite close related when you think about it. Well, first of all, transcriptions are as old as the organ is, because uh, from the early days on, an organ was meant to imitate a choir or an orchestra. And of course, you could then also play pieces that were originally written for choir or orchestra. You could play them on the organ. The whole idea is actually of an organ is like that. But of course, um, it is very closely related to improvising because there are two things that you need to make a good transcription. The first thing is you need to have knowledge. So knowledge of the piece, how is it constructed? Um, of course, all the practical theoretical knowledge uh, about the key, what, uh, how do you get from one key to another? How is the voicing of the piece? Uh, how is the orchestration of the piece? Things like that. But the second thing is at least as important, and it is that you listen to the original piece and then your ears have to decide what actually makes out the typical essence of the piece. Because when you uh, make a, transcri uh, a transcription to the organ, uh, a transcription always has less material than the original. You need to skip some things. You need to leave out certain parts of the piece, otherwise it's way too dense and it wouldn't work actually. So I decided to do a transcription of the opening chorus of the Bach Cantata 99, Was Gott tut, das ist wohlgetan. Uh, a really haunting piece, I think. Once you have the melody in mind, you never lose it. And it's really beautiful, so um, it, it's very well suited for the organ as well, but you have to make some decisions. But let's first listen to the beginning. Uh, in front of me, I just got online um, the, the essence of the piece, so uh, you can just have the piano part, which is basically the, the most important uh, part of the score of the orchestra, and there is the choir part, of course, and I decided to only leave the soprano part of the choir because they have the melody. Well, it starts with a ritornello, and it sounds like this. 